Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use IAD in your iOS applications. First we have to create a single view application. And here it is, and I'm going to name it IAD Demon. Choose Objective-C with iPhone and I don't need core data, so I click Next. I want to save it on a desktop. I'm going to click next and here we go the main interface and the first thing I have to do is I have to add a framework and here we go go all the way to the bottom and I click add and I search I add and I click add the framework should pop up automatically then go to storyboard and you can see this is the main storyboard then what I have to do is I have to so, um, look for I add and then drag it to the main storyboard. And I want to try to find a right position. Here we go. And then click Control and drag so I can edit the layout. Oops, I shouldn't do that. I should delete that. Click and click delete. And then I should go to. Go to pin and then choose bottom space layout. The next step is very important. We have to add a delegate to the view controller. Just click and then drag to the view. And then everything that has to do with the storyboard is done right now. The next thing we have to do is go to view controller. H. And we have to add the IAD framework. Import, and I choose the second one. The next thing we have to do is um, write add banner view delegate after the view controller because. That's one of what we are going to use in the view controller.m. And I'm going to paste the code right here. I'm not actually going to type it. And here we go. There's two commands. One is render view did load. One is uh, an arrow command. You know what happened when there's an arrow. I'm going to set the alpha to one when the banner can successfully load. And I'm going to set the alpha to zero when there's an arrow. And now let's run the code. Oops, here's an arrow. I think I typed something wrong. Yeah, I should delete that. And again, I typed something wrong behind that. All right, it should be fine now. As you can see, I successfully built the application and now I have to go to the simulator and it's an iPhone 6 with an iWatch 33 millimeter and it's allowed as you can see there's some code running in Xcode and it shows that I have an arrow and what I have to do right now is actually go to the simulator setting because sometimes as the default the simulator will set the IAD the I add field rate to zero, so there's no add going to be appeared when here we go. If I change it to always provide add and then refresh 15 seconds, and then I'm going to rerun the application. And as you can see, here we go. I add, and I, if I click on it, then it's going to lead me to this page. And that's it. Very simple and easy. And thanks for watching. See you next time.